Brad Social vs. Hootsuite 2022, which is the better social media management platform. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be giving you a quick rundown of both of these platforms and how they both differ, what features does one have and the other doesn't, and how do they stack up against each other and which one you should use. So let's get into it. Now, before I actually take a look at the dashboards and the actual platforms, we're going to do a quick rundown of their different plans that are available because the pricing is one of the most important thing that you're going to find for any social media platform and what are the equivalent plans available on Sprout Social versus Hootsuite. So starting with Sprout Social, their lowest paid version starts at $89 while at Hootsuite, their lowest paid version starts at $50 or $49. So the lowest paid version of Sprout Social will allow you up to five social profiles, a all-in-one social box group and profile level reporting, iOS and Android applications, paid promotion tools, and review management as well. So these are some of the basic features of the standard version of Sprout Social, which starts at $89. While in comparison, Hootsuite has their $49 version, which allows you one user, 10 social accounts. So comparing these social accounts, you get more social accounts on Hootsuite. You also get to schedule unlimited posts and access to messages in one singular inbox. You also get to schedule posts in advance and you can schedule multiple posts at a time. So you can do bulk posting as well. In that regard, if I was to tell you that if you want to keep your bill as low as you possibly can, I would definitely recommend that you should go with Hootsuite instead of Sprout Social because Hootsuite Suite will allow you a lot more value for money in their lower paid versions. But moving on, we have the professional version of Spread Social, which starts at $149 in comparison to the team version of Hootsuite, which starts at $129. So for both of these, the prices are pretty much close. The difference is around $10 or $20, but depending on how high these prices are, it really doesn't matter. But this will allow you on Sprout Social 10 social profiles. You also get competitive reporting and general CRM tools, while on Hootsuite, you get three users 20 social accounts so uh, you can see that in terms of social accounts you can always link more on the hootsuite version than you can do on the sprout social but the very very important tool that i find is the crm tools on professional version of sprout social so if you do want CRM tools, then I definitely do recommend that you should uh, try the professional version of uh, Sprout Social. Now, moving on to the highest paid version of Sprout Social, which starts at $249, while on the business version of Hootsuite starts at $739. So you get a lot of different premium and expert level features or enterprise level features. And both of these are great, but I think for anyone that is uh, a beginner, these are two out of your league you don't want all of these access features clouding your overall platform and i don't find that if you want to create like a basic navigation or like you have a basic social media account that you want to manage that both of these are going to be in um, the best choices for you so i would recommend that if you are actually at a business level then you definitely want to go for $739 on Hootsuite instead of going with the $249 version of uh, Sprout Social. And the reason is that if you're running a business level company or platforms, then you're probably doing bulk scheduling with posts. So if you want to bulk schedule your posts, then you should definitely opt for Hootsuite instead of Sprout Social because Sprout Social does not have that feature whatsoever in any of their plans. So that is something to keep in mind when choosing Choosing your social media management platform. Now we're going to take a look at both of these dashboards and how do they stack up in real time and what do the actual fields for both of these platforms look like. Now, taking a look for Sprout Social, this is their basic dashboard. Now, on your dashboard, you have your general uh, latest activity, your publishing, you can do the calendar, queued posts, sent posts, the general tasks and approvals that are required, and then you have different support setups on the right over here. In comparison to Hootsuite, you can take a look at their dashboard, and their dashboard is definitely not as interactive or like as easy to use, you could say, or it is easy to use, but it's not as appealing as the uh, Sprout Social dashboard is, that is without a say, the better dashboard, but they do give you like general insights and you can browse through with all of your different profiles that you have linked onto your Hootsuite account. Now, moving on to their inboxes, you can see that both of them have like a team inbox where you can have like a, a inbox for all of your profiles that you have linked. And on Social Sprout, you get 
to see all of your messages privated completed saved messages and all that and on the top you have different filters that you can add while on hootsuite the uh, conversations are also pretty much the same right now i don't have any uh, public accounts or like um, anything um, in my general accounts because both of these are pretty empty pages but you can see that both of them have different filters that you can add and you can click on settings over here and customize your settings to receive specific messages as well uh, if you want to specify that you only want messages from this specific facebook page that you have linked then you can filter out those as well now, if we were to take a look at the different work streams that are provided, so on Sprout Social, it's called Feeds, while on the Hootsuite platform, it is called a Stream. Now, what are the different features and technicalities that you're going to find on Hootsuite versus Sprout Social? So what is there in one platform that you won't find on the other? Well, starting with Sprout Social, Sprout Social has a Q button for bookmarking and sharing content. So it's pretty much a simple little button that will enable you to like um bookmark a post and then you can move it on to uh a, a next calendar date so let's say if i go on to my tasks over here what i can do is i can create like a singular post and then i can add it like on today's date and then i could just bookmark that post and maybe i want to add that post on every 10th of the month then i can schedule that accordingly so that is one feature that i find to be the best on sprout social then Sprout Social also has great CRM tools, which are undoubtedly not present on the Hootsuite platform. So that is something to also keep in mind. If you want some strategy and insights, you want content performance analytics, you want competitive analysis for your post, you're definitely going to find the better analytics on Sprout Social as well. So CRM and analytics, uh, Sprout Social really does win in those categories. Now, what does Hootsuite have that Sprout Social does not have? Well, as I was saying in the start, bulk scheduling. So if I go onto the publisher over here, I can really plan out my post and like choose to post like 50 posts in one day on several different accounts. Hootsuite will do that for me. Sprout Social will fill you at that point. If you're going with such large bulk quantities, Sprout Social will not be able to do that, while Hootsuite can definitely can. And then the best part about Hootsuite is that you can usually get more accounts linked onto your singular Hootsuite platform. So if you're managing several different pages or several different social media publishing sites, then you can definitely manage them from one account. And then you also get unlimited social profiles or applications on their pro version and you also have the ability that you can link multiple platforms so it could be one could be a facebook profile and the other could be like a google plus profile or a instagram profile or a twitter profile so both of these platforms are great for social media management it just depends on your need in terms of general usability sprout social definitely has the more visually appealing platform but if you're looking for bulk functionalities hootsuite is going to serve you a lot better so that is my final verdict in my opinion it just depends on your needs uh, usually when you're starting Starting a company, you might opt for Spread Social and then moving on, you could opt for Hootsuite and so on and so forth. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to choose the better social media management platform for your uh, social media profiles. Make sure to leave a like and hit the subscribe button and I will catch you guys in the next video.